As the Conservative Party of Canada tries to recuperate and find new leadership after its 2015 election loss, there are signs the party may be changing their position on cannabis. Former Prime Minister Stephen Harper called cannabis infinitely worse than tobacco and established mandatory minimum sentences that harmed its users. Rana Ambrose, his health minister, conducted a $9 million anti-pot ad campaign and consistently warned of legalization's dangers. But now that about 68% of Canadians support cannabis legalization and Harper is gone, Ambrose, who is serving as interim conservative leader, has seemingly flipped her position. In an interview with CKNW's Simi Sarah in January, Ambrose said the faster the Liberals move on legalization, the better because the proliferation of pot dispensaries is quite large. Not just in Vancouver, but across the country. And they're unregulated. So the sooner they can move on that, the better to protect kids. In response, Treasury Board President Scott Bryson told the Huffington Post that if Miss Ambrose, now unshackled from the previous rigid ideology, is choosing to follow our lead on evidence-based policymaking, we welcome her support. Others weren't so forgiving, however. Cape Breton MP Roger Kuzner called it Ambrose's come-to-Jesus moment and said it's totally hypocritical of the Conservatives to change their minds on this. But then last month, Maxim Bernier, who is running to lead the Conservatives, told CBC's Rosemary Barton that he's more for legalization than against it, adding that he's happy this government will bring a bill forward next year. But many Conservative MPs still oppose the plan. On April 21st, Several Conservatives unleashed a barrage of questions and attacks in the House of Commons. It's widely known that tobacco products are deadly, and for decades Health Canada has called for stricter policies against smoking. Marijuana has the same carcinogenic potential to cause harm to the body. Mr. Speaker, how can the Minister of Health, the minister responsible for promoting good health to Canadians, throw out decades of scientific research by Health Canada and promote recreational use of marijuana. I had the honor yesterday of speaking in the, at the United Nations General Assembly special session on drugs. I used that opportunity to talk about Canada's drug policy, which is grounded in scientific evidence, which employs a collaborative, compassionate, and comprehensive approach to drug policy. We are concerned about access to marijuana for young people. Therefore, we are going to be introducing a new regulatory regime which will keep our children safe. Can the Minister of Public Safety tell us what he will do to keep drugs away from children? And how does he intend to equip police officers to be able to stop drug-impaired drivers? The Public Safety Department is working very closely with the Justice Department and the Health Department to produce uh, a regime for Canada in respect of marijuana uh, that will, in fact, do a far better job in keeping our kids safe keeping this product out of the hands of, of children and young people and stopping the flow of illegal money to illegal gangs and, and organized crime. The regime in place today has failed miserably and perpetuating the status quo is absolutely the wrong thing to do. Science has shown that marijuana is linked to serious health concerns, both mentally and physically, especially to our young people under the age of 25. Yet the Prime Minister still insists on pushing forward marijuana legalization. Mr. Speaker, with the Liberals admit to us that marijuana is in fact a causal factor for these illnesses and that their policies will not protect the Canadian children that we love. The member opposite may be aware of the troubling statistics that show up to a quarter of teenagers are in fact currently using marijuana. This is a troubling fact. As my colleague, the Minister of Public Safety, has already indicated, the current approach to marijuana is not working. Because of the potential risks, our government is introducing new legislation which will legalize marijuana, which will regulate it and will restrict access to keep Canadians safe and to keep them healthy. Last month, another candidate for the Conservative leadership, MP Tory Leach, also expressed her opposition to cannabis legalization. Quote, with regards to marijuana, I feel strongly about this. I don't want to see any child put in harm's way by having access to a dangerous drug, she said. Leach added that she would recriminalize cannabis if elected prime minister. 